Hello, hello. Um, I decided to revisit the rune uh, today because uh, yesterday I was talking about uh, was talking with a couple of guys about like strong cruisers before T10, and they kept mentioning different ships like uh, Cleveland's and such. And I obviously the first thing I said was the rune because I think it's an insanely strong ship. And uh, their first reaction was basically just a lol. They basically just uh, laughed, and I was like, um, I'm not joking guys, I'm actually serious, the rune is a fantastic ship. But they treated it as a, as a bit of a joke. So, I was a bit surprised. So, I decided, I've played about 30 games in this ship, so I decided to go check uh, Warship a a Analytics. It's like this site where you can, it tracks like something like 40,000 uh, European players and 30,000 American players. It basically tracks a shit ton of players. And it lets you know what your average uh, damage and win rate and such is. So you can like compare yourself with other players and see how you're doing and such. So I decided to go check like the average rune stats. And uh, usually the stat people are most interested is in the average damage because stuff like win rate is so heavily affected by playing in division and such. Like you can group with the Yamato and the Midway and your and your win rate will be amazing, so no one really cares about it. But uh, I decided to check the average damage on a rune and this is what I get. I mean, usually there's fairly close like close competition at the top uh, top ranks but uh, this was just complete goddamn like completely <laughs> pretty much surprising to me and uh, on the american servers the average damage is even less like i got like 10k more than their highest average damage so obviously i'm doing something very right with rune and i feel like a lot of people are underestimating the strength of this ship and underestimating the power of this ship so that leads me to this second commentary basically where i try to i don't know maybe show how i play this ship and how my aggressive style i, I i'm pretty much fairly known by now or at least i would consider fairly known for playing a very aggressive style with most of the ships I don't really like sitting back and uh, pay, playing the sniper, of course, unless uh, you have to you play a DD. But even with DDs, I'm fairly aggressive. So the rune, especially, is very, very good at being an aggressive ship. Even though the Russian ships, I mean, sorry, the German ships in in general are very snipe, sniper-like. Thanks to the huge health pool of the rune, it has it's at 50k health and uh, four heals, and because those heals scale on percentage max health, you actually heal quite a lot with them. As you can see here on this map, I'm basically just charging in straight down the middle with this uh, New Orleans. Usually people like, to, you can see our battleship sitting back and sniping and shit, but uh, I like to play aggressive with the rune, because the rune absolutely murders cruisers. Like, it's no joke, it eats other cruisers alive. There is no cruiser in the game, except T10 cruisers, that actually want to take a straight up fight with this guy. Even T10 cruisers have to be careful showing broadsides to this guy, because the AP shells will just absolutely eat them alive. Of course, it's a German cruiser, so you stick to AP all the time. I run the Hydroacoustic Surge, naturally, because the German Hydroacoustic Surge is insane. You can spot the these 5 kilometers away in the smoke with it, so... That makes you exceptionally good at basically just like charging in. And even though m most of. Oh shit. Eh, easy. Totally planned to make it such a close evade. <laughs> anyway. As you can see, basically these cruisers, they just they can just flee. That's all they're doing. They flee, they flee, they flee. I don't think the new. I don't know how much the new, this new, new Orleans is doing, but. Uh, my damage forces them to quickly, quickly turn away. Oh, and you see his attack is giving me broadside. Oh, I'm trying to turn away, I don't wanna... Oh, this guy, he shouldn't be... Ra he's gonna ram into me. I'm trying to find the bearing on this attack. I should be able to shoot over this guy. Nope, shit, I hit him for like 1.8k damage. Sorry, New Orleans. 
Well, I was actually I was actually about to apologize to this guy, even though he like turned into me, I was about to apologize for shooting doing the 1.8k damage to him. But uh, since he just told me straight up to fuck off, now I can't even be arsed apologizing. Like whatever. <laughs> if you're gonna be a dick then I'm not gonna gonna bother. Anyways, you can see that I'm basically just raining citadels on this Atago from 15 kilometers. He's been completely wrecked. That was two citadels on him. All his HP pool is gone. That Atago can just flee and run. Here we have the Michael Kutuzov. Once again, 15 point, what, three kilometers away. He's giving me broadside. That's all I need. And he's going full speed, so it makes it fairly easy to estimate his speed. Double citadel, 14k damage. He's down to half HP. And yeah, he's run. He's, he instantly smoked up. And he's hiding behind an island as well. This is basically... Rune is such a potent damage dealer. The AP shells are just murderously powerful. No Citadel. A bit lucky or unlucky for me, I guess. But even from this range, 16.4 kilometers, you're just a deadly, deadly, deadly ship. Now this guy's fleeing from these guys, but I'm obviously going to go straight up and challenge him. Because that's kind of what I like doing. I haven't gotten a single kill yet. I've done, according to my damage counter, I've got done like 80k damage and I haven't gotten a single kill yet. Maybe I can get this Amagi. Mm. Wow, okay, I'm not even gonna get the Amagi. Okay, maybe the Atago. Now he's pushing into me. And you see... This is how you know people haven't really faced a lot of runes, because you wouldn't do this. If I played a rune, I would never do what this Atago is doing. Just terrifying to me. Like, he should have stopped shooting, slowed down, let himself get undetected or something, just bailed straight away. But now he is basically giving me broadside at this range. And even though I didn't even get a Citadel, that was still 7k hits. And because I use... I go over my uh, spec I use, so in my other rune commentary so you see how fast my reload is thanks to the uh, gun mod 3 so just basically raining down death on him and there's finally the citadel and he just blew up now I've spoken about the firing mechanics before there's I want to turn left and realign basically I don't want to give full broadside yet see I'm waiting there you go I waited until I was undetected now I'm going to close the distance a bit and I'm turning my turrets around. The turret turn rate is quite slow on this ship, so it takes a bit of time, you have to like prepare for it. But uh, I waited patiently until my firing debuff disappeared. When you fire, you get a 20% debuff to your concealment. So I wait until the concealment debuff disappears. And then once my guns are realigned, now I open fire again. And when I'm detected once again. I use the concealment mod naturally, that's why I'm able to basically dip in and out of uh, concealment when I feel like it and use it to my advantage. There's no reason for me to basically be detected there, I could only use my front turrets, which is only one third of my firepower, whereas I might risk getting a significant am amount of damage in return, so why bother? Even on the turrets, the AP shells, as you can see, steady steady damage. Let's see if I can finish off this Mayoko. Ah, shot a bit too soon. That's the, that, that's one of basically negative sides when you play an aggressive uh, when you play an aggressive rune is that uh, the back turrets <laughs> they are well in the back, so you don't have the best firing angles. And as you, when you try to peek out behind mountains and fire, your back turrets often hit the mountain. And uh, damn it. Someone took that kill, kill as well. Well, North Carolina, it's uh, actually more of a battle cruiser than a battleship. So I'm straight up gonna go pick a fight with him. Usually, cruisers aren't too keen on doing this, but I'm a rune, and basically, against his armor, I'm not too worried. And I'm angled as well, so even if he lands a citadel or two, I will be able to survive it. Keeping my ship as angled as possible and closing the distance. Uh, 
Oh, nice, got Confederate. Even from this angle, I'm able to land uh, AP shells or AP penetrations on him. Because uh, I get plunging fire, so it doesn't actually hit his belt, his angled belt, but it lands on the puppy's deck. Or on his superstructure. Of course, you don't get as many pens as you usually do. If you're... If a ship is sailing towards you, then I recommend actually, or if a battleship is sailing towards you, then I recommend using HE. Simply because, even though your HE doesn't do too much damage, you still ha still have an okay fire chance, and uh, your fire rate is fairly good, and your shells are fairly accurate, so you can actually pump out a lot of HE damage. But uh, I only use HE on destroyers and ships coming straight at me, or battleships coming straight at me. Against pretty much everything else, AP, AP, AP is the way to go. Now, I'm obviously gonna hunt down this uh, battleship because I'm a rude. Fuck you, that's why. Wow, well, this guy's really fleeing. Angling myself towards these shells. Overshot it a bit. That tier on the ship isn't really much to brag about. Oh shit, I should focus start. I just realized this guy is actually shooting down. No, well, he tried to shoot down my fighter plane. But I just shot down his <laughs> instead. <laughs> Poor guy. Wow, that's a good, good AP hit on me. But once again, I have so much HP. And I have my heal ready. So I'm just gonna keep closing the distance with him. Basically I want to get close enough that even though I risk getting a lot of AP damage in return, I have so, such high DPM on this ship that I feel that I will be able to overcome him. You can see I'm starting to do some significant damage with my volleys. 4k and 4k again. Just gotta be careful so I don't get that double citadel which might end me. You see how much damage my bullet is starting to do the closer I get to him. Especially with my DPM, with the mods that I use, the damage is just coming out at such a quick pace that the battleship reload can't keep up. Oh well, someone killed him as well. Jeez, I'm really not getting any kills this game. Like. Top left counter shows me at 150k damage and I'm not getting any goddamn kills. Although that counter isn't exactly accurate since it only counts the damage you can see. Any shells you have shot uh, that you haven't seen land, it doesn't count it. Wow. Poor shit. That's what happens when uh, all your armor shell <laughs> armor piercing shells penetrate. It doesn't have to be a safe that you still do absurd damage. Absurd amount of damage. Oh. I don't get him either, why would I? Story of this game it seems. But anyway, the rune, 179,000 damage done in a... It, does, it didn't even last 14 minutes this game, it la lasted 13 minutes and 50 seconds. And that's, I feel, that's my attempt at showing people that uh, the rune really is an extremely, extremely potent cruiser. Anyways, that was my quick revisit to the rune. Have a nice day.